Today is July 6th, which is two days after Independence Day, and perhaps more importantly, five days before EVO 2014. I'm Brian Scribner, and I'm riding with my brother Robert Scribner. Only 30 minutes into this trip, and we're both starving and without resources. All that we have left is one bottle of water supplied by our sponsor, Monster Energy. We're both very sleep deprived, <coughs> having been without sleep for over one hour. Robert, how are you holding up? Spirits, spirits are low, perhaps the lowest they've been on the entire trip thus far. Exhausted, mentally, physically, just those two, I guess. But I don't know if Brian mentioned, we've been without sleep for over one hour now. And as far as I can tell, the mirror, rear view mirror, bags under my eyes, and bags the size of, and this is, of course, an exaggeration, bags the size of the trash bag, the small trash bags that would go in a waste paper basket. And they're even getting bigger, becoming big trash bags. I mean, this is, of course, an exaggeration, but very small trash bags, which is, of course, big for bags under your eyes. Medium size. I'm not gonna go. That's my approximation. No, I, it's already an exaggeration for the bags. Of, the, the I'm size exaggerating of bags. it further. You're exaggerating the size of a small trash bag and into a larger trash bag. I forgot we were even talking about your your eyes. I'm sorry. This is the kind of argument that I'm sick of getting in the first 30 miles of, on the Natchez Trace uh, Intercontinental Highway. So I guess, from on my mind, we have made it this far, but will we even survive this trip? We're five hours in now, and it's a complete mystery to me how we're still alive. We didn't pack any food, we're almost out of water, and Robert, Robert's not even conscious. I checked his heartbeat though, and he's just sleeping. We're relying on the cruise control to guide us. On top of all the issues that we're having, we're almost out of gas, and apparently we should service the engine soon too. How foolish of us to think that we'd be able to get to evil on one tank of gas. Why didn't we just pack more gas? Just a couple more gallons of gasoline, then we could have made it all the way. Now, our only option is just to pull on the side of the road and fend off for ourselves in the wild. That's the only way we can get food or resources now. Otherwise, we just rot in this car. <sighs> Brian, Brian, wake up. Look, a gas pump. How fortuitous. I never expected, but I just came across it while I was driving. We were literally driving on E. I can't believe it. We're gonna be okay, Brian. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Say, Brian, we should try a lift up. Okay. How about Harold Chapman's The Cats in the Cradle? Because the oh. cats in the cradle and the band oh. team. Little boy in blue. No. Eat some food. It's gotta be a real song. Well, like what? How about Iggy Azalea's Fancy featuring Charlie XCX? Okay, let me see if I have it on my phone. Bam. Yeah, I like it. First things first on the really. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. What? I'm just singing. Yeah, what the f man? You're singing? What's wrong with that? I said lip dub. What is a lip dub? You know what a lip dub is. It's self-explanatory. You dub with your lips. Besides, we agreed that we were gonna alternate singing. We sang last song. This time it's lip dub. Lip. Sing, lip dub. Sing, lip dub. That's never, how we do it. I've never even heard this song before. You just played it last time and wanted me to memorize the whole song. You're 
blowing up the entire facade. We're trying to make a viral video. It's not cute. If you're singing the song, you're a grown man. You're not a good brother. I'm sick of this. I'm gonna turn the car around. I'll just pull over. Son of a f***ing Greetings, um, bad news. Unfortunately, as we attempted to navigate across the country, we realized that without a GPS or map, which we cho intentionally chose not to bring, feeling that it would weigh us down, we'd become lost and eventually realized that we were in another country entirely, which, as you can see, is Mexico. A beautiful country, uh, surely. And we found ourselves in this lovely uh, little very quaint little cafe, uh, very authentic, and we asked, we explained our story to them and they they gave us this free meal because we pretended to not have any money, which is close to true. And I guess I should say now the, the reason for this struggle and why we have such little money is we're heading to Evo, uh, the tournament, the fighting tournament in Las Vegas, Nevada. And there, our goals will be threefold, excuse me. Uh, number one, place as highly in the Evo Smash Tournament as possible because I want to prove that that me, that I, or rather my alternative uh, personality, Jim Jam Flim Flam, who I who comes out when I play Smash and I can't I can't even control it, that he is a world class competitor. I'm not talking top 128, 64, 32, top eight minimum, making a splash. Number two. That being said, I want to meet my Smash idols. Even though I do consider myself a peer, I want to meet these guys. I want to meet, you got your Mango, uh, you got your Hunger Box, your PP, your AMSA, uh, your Chillman, and all these guys, I want, to, I want to be best friends with whatever it takes. And lastly, and this is definitely the most important for the rest of my life. Oh yeah, another coffee please. Thank you. Um, lastly, and this is most important for the rest of my life, I am in very, uh, very cripplingly bad uh, credit card debt. Over $200,000. I got student loans. I bought a house. Uh, I don't even know where the house is, and I bought it. And, um, so we're going to Vegas, and what little money I have left for the, you know, after the tournament, say $200. I'm looking to turn that tenfold $200,000. And I know that's not going to be hard, that is going to be hard, but it's also going to be very cool, and I'm certain that I'm going to do it. So, that's all for now, guys. We've got food in our bellies, coffee in our stomachs, and we're happy, so we're looking good. Signing off. Uh, behind the wheel, still, I'm the only one driving, which is exhausting to be frankly honest. Um, and we left you earlier, we were in Mexico, and uh, I gotta say today, Mexico side, which was actually great, today's been a complete roller coaster. Um, the car has been up, it's been down, it's been left, it's been right. I think we did one or two loop-de-loops earlier while it was asleep at the wheel, I can't recall back to Mexico. Uh, very hospitable people, obviously, uh, until you get to the border, and it's a different story there, because those are not Mexicans, those are American officers, and who knows what their deal is. And uh, we, try, we attempted to cross the border. Of course, neither of us have passports. We weren't intending to end up in Mexico. And they asked, they said, what are you doing? Why are you, what are you doing? Where are you going? We said, well, we're driving from Mississippi to Las Vegas, and we're playing in a professional uh, a Smash Brothers, a video game tournament, and they said, no, that's impossible, that's too stupid, no one would do that, drive 30 hours, or in your case, probably 50 hours, uh, to go to a video game tournament. And we said, fair point, but uh, maybe we leave, no, they detained us, they searched our car, uh, they searched our persons. I don't even want to go into detail there. And all that time lost. I don't even know why we thought we could complete a 30-hour drive in one day.
that was the plan. I guess I just thought I would go fast. And uh, I've already been ticketed uh, for, for speeding and $100 fine right there, I'm down to $100 to gamble with. So I guess I'm gonna have to double down on that first bet. But as you can see, it's getting dark and we have no way of navigating at night. I don't know how a person travels across the earth in pitch darkness. So we're gonna have to seek some sort of shelter. And we're coming up to Hallettsville, Texas, very small town. Uh, we're gonna see if we can, I don't know, pitch a tent. And we don't, we don't have a tent, so I don't know what I'm talking about. We'll have to buy a tent, I guess, and that's even less money. So we'll leave you here. Uh, hopefully, I can't say for certain, but we'll pick it up in the morning if we're even alive. So signing off once again, Robert S. Thank you for sticking with us. I know this hasn't gone as we, uh, as you thought it would. This is supposed to be a fun adventure, but we really uh, the bed on this one. So, thank you for signing off. Well, hello everybody. It's day two. We are 17 hours into our drive now. There, We're going through there, Texas there, now. There, 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 Luckily, there, there, after there, getting out of Mexico, there, there, we stopped there, somewhere, there, some small way, town down, named Howitzville, where way some back. kind strangers up allowed us to smash. sleep in their way home. Dash. Up smash. Can we get down, down? Smash. It's a way little dash. quieter. Up smash. Okay, smash. Robert and I are not on speaking terms right now. This morning, he wanted to listen to Iggy Azalea. He's addicted to that song now. I wanted to listen to Iggy Pop. We had a huge argument about it. We can't play bears, anything on the radio bears, now. Bears, bears, he bears, won't talk bears, to me, and bears, now he just keeps bears, talking. Bears, 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 I guess it's bears, reasonable. Bears, He's trying to keep bears, sharp bears, for Evo. Bears, 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 bears. Robert, how's your training? Bears, 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 bears. Up smash, down smash, wave dash, down smash, wave dash, down smash, man. God damn it! Up smash, down smash, wave dash, bears, 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 bears. bears well, we're on our way to uh, Austin bears, bears, now. We're hoping to God. do something interesting there because Here we go. it's getting really, really boring in this god smash. car. Down smash. Forward smash. Up smash. Bye. Wave dash. Causing me any sort of stress in my life, but you can be perfectly fine looking at your phone once per hour. Hey. It's, it's day two. Or I don't even know if I should call it. A, I don't know. I should have the camera sideways. Oh, I should have just included that. That's still good. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, over. Yeah. Hey, it's it's day two now. Or I guess I should call it night two. Because it's night time. We're in Austin, Texas, but specifically I'm not sure where we are. We've been abducted by these people. They claim that they're our family. It's our cousins? I, I don't know. I've never seen these people before. Robert, do you know these people? Robert? Hey. Where are we? I don't know. The last thing I remember is we were in Mexico. You, I was, how long have you been sleeping? You remember the drive or anything? I blacked out. I don't know. God. Was I driving? Yeah, you were driving the whole time. You wouldn't even talk to me. It's like in a trance or something. It's great. I don't know. It's, it's really unusual where we are. I, I'm not sure if we're going to survive. How are all these bad things happening, happening to us? Right when we're on our way to Evo. Hey, man. Just go with the flow, brother. Come on, man. Yeah, you're right. I guess I'll just sleep on this comfortable couch that they sit here for us. Pillow and blanket. It's actually quite nice. Anyway, we'll try and get to Evo. See you guys. Hello. It's uh, it's about an hour after Brian left this left his video message, and I just wanted to come on and uh. I took his phone. I wanted to clarify. I didn't black out in Mexico. I remember the whole thing. And he's been 
uh, Brian has been a very violent, uh, drunk, uh, irate uh, dictator on this trip, and I'm actually afraid of him. And I only came here because these are indeed our cousins, and he claims he doesn't remember them. He's trying to dramatize the whole thing. This is actually the best thing that's happened to us. Uh, it's not at all scary here, and I mean, look at him over there. Yeah, he's asleep over there, but he's a liar, and I don't, I'm afraid of him. And he's already hit me once today, and I acted like I didn't even notice. But I don't know what I'm going to do. The best I can do is sleep. Hopefully he doesn't hear me. All right. Oh, God. I think he's, I think he's, uh, no, no, no. I just, uh, I was just, uh, uh, you, uh shit. having a drink of orange juice? I don't know. God. Cool. Uh, signing off. Robert Scribner. Good night. Oh, no. What's happening? Uh, just go back to sleep. I got it. Don't worry about it. Oh, uh, what? What are you stopping for? Don't worry about it, man. I got it. Oh, my God. What? Car. The car's running, just go. It won't accelerate. We're screwed, man. Oh my God. God. Get me out of this car. This is just what I would expect from you. This is not good. There's shit on the ground. Brian doesn't even know I'm filming right now. This is that. It's all because of you. <laughs> just through it. Suck at me. I told you. I'm terrified last night. Just look at him out there. We've had so many problems, and if they're all because of you, how are we gonna get to Evo? Can you hear him? He's going insane. I just wish I could climb up this wall just so I could jump down and kill myself. He's literally insane. Ever since we started driving, he's been drinking. He's drunk right now. It's listen to me. Up. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? Who what? buys a house and loses it? I d I'm sorry, I forgot where I bought it. I was You're a fool! Nobody likes you, you're not gonna win! I you're not even good at Smash Brothers! I'm terrified. He's crying, but it's just because he's bipolar. He's screaming, he's wasted. It's so hot! It's I don't, so hot! I'm we're gonna die out here. We're in the middle of West Texas. It's the desert. Just please fix it. This what, might be our last message. What is this? Oh. Is that it? Um, it turned out the parking brake was on, the emergency brake. Let's see if we can... No, we're... Okay, we're fine. Oh, my uh, God. Oh, I just turned the camera on, by the way. Why? I uh, know no reason. I was just... Uh, were you recording that? No, I was looking... Uh, I was taking a picture of the, it was the scenery. Uh, don't worry. Nothing. It's nothing. Everything's fine. I'm... I'm okay. What's up, guys? Robert and I, we talked it out. We're... No. We're doing good. We're finally doing good. I, I kind of overreacted, but now we're okay. Everything's good. But we're at Sonic now. We're going to do our favorite comedian's act. Like, not funny. You're going to be the guy with the long hair. You're, you're, you're telling jokes. You're like, hey, man, this, is, this food's good. What do you think about it? No, I'm, not. I'm the all, guy with the short hair. I'm cracking all, hilarious jokes. It's not funny. He doesn't have long... He has long hair. It's... He has hair. You... Robert doesn't get the humor, but we're gonna do it just, just for you guys. All right, so our humor is not let's the same up. at all. Oh mm. my god, I don't like this blue nerd slush is amazing, little baby nerds. I love it. What do you got? What do you got? What flavor of slush is that, bro? Banana <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about that? What's what are you eating? Oh, I got this cheese stick. Oh. How is it? It tastes like rubber. What? It's supposed to taste like rubber, dude! <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Come on, Robert. Lighten up. I'm not gonna lighten up. We just don't have the same sense of humor. You like stupid shit. I'm into meta humor. Uh, just the uh, really intelligent stuff. And then you wanna- Come on, oh, man. it tastes like rubber. That's really funny, but it's because it's cheese. It's rubbery. I get it. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm not, right. being, I'm not being funny all right, right dudes. We're out. Robert loves it. He loves it. We're all good. Hey, guys. One quick update. I just put on some cool sunglasses. All right. Thanks. Signing off. Bye-bye.